It's no secret that Dollar Tree mason jars are perfect for crafting. Today I have for you four new inspiration and we're gonna start with a little one. They come in two different sizes, a larger and a smaller one. I'm gonna take one of the smaller ones and we're just gonna remove the lid because we're not gonna need it and the sticker. We also wanna wipe them really, really well because they do get a little dusty and smudges get on them really easily. The first thing we want to do with this one is add jute string to the thread, to the top portion. And that's only because it'll be easier now than later after I've added more on it. I'm going to secure it in place with hot glue. And then we're going to start layering some ribbon and fabric on the center. Now this is leftover fabric. This is burlap fabric from Dollar Tree. I frayed the edges a little bit more by removing a couple of the strands. And I'm just going to wrap it around the center securing it with hot glue and then we're just going to continue to layer and just make it nice and festive this fabric is also from dollar tree leftover from another project i'm going to cut up a piece just about maybe one inch thick and then we're going to layer it right on top of the burlap fabric and then we are going to do the same thing with this bright yellow ribbon from Hobby Lobby and just add it right there, right in the center of everything again, securing it with hot glue. Now we do want to add some florals on it, but you can leave it as this if you'd like. I'm going to start with these little leaves from this pick from Walmart. I'm going to separate the leaves and then we're going to take the little flower, remove the little stem, and I do want to darken up that center. I'm just going to add a little bit of brown paint and just dab, 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 just to add a little dimension and make it look a little bit more like a sunflower to match the design of the fabric. Once it's all done, I'm just gonna attach it to the jar towards the right side. So it's gonna be a little bit to the side of the jar, but you can place it in the center. It doesn't matter, wherever you want. Once the flower was attached, I'm gonna add a couple of the leaves, one on each side with a little bit of hot glue. Now you can add whatever you want. You can use this for school purposes and maybe add pencils. You can also add uh, paint brushes, which is what I did in um, the here in the display. But look how adorable this looks. The colors are stunning. What do you think? Let me know what you think of this one. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take another one of those smaller jars remove the sticker from the bottom and the lid. Now we are going to use this lid, so we're not gonna put that away. We're gonna take this wooden star, but you can use any wooden shape you have available in some foam from Dollar Tree. We're going to attach the foam on top of the star, and then on the other side, we're gonna attach the lid just like that with a little hot glue. I'm gonna add a screw. Now I ended up just getting ahead of myself and I added a screw that does not go through to the other side and we did have to change that in just a little bit but you see how the jar still attaches to it and that's what we want we'll get back to that screw here in a minute i want to paint everything white and again i could have done this later i don't know what i was thinking but i just want to show you the process and what i did i'm going to paint everything white including the side of the lid this is a piece of scrap one by four that i had in my garage i'm going to sand down the edges just a little bit to remove splinters and any roughness and then of course we do want to wipe it really well because we are going to paint it and we do not want to paint over dust. This plunger is from Dollar Tree. We're going to remove the stick from it and we're just going to make a small little mark. I'm going to cut right there as well as a little bit on the bottom with my miter saw so it's nice and flat on both ends. Sand it just a little bit, dust it, and then I'm going to put my safety gloves because we are going to drill a couple of holes, one on each side of the stick. I'm also going to be uh, placing a hole right there, just drilling it right there in the center of the scrap one by four. We're gonna attach everything together. I'm gonna put a screw in from the bottom of the scrap one by four, and then just, just like you see me here, just screw in the stick right onto the screw, just like that. Now, before we move on, I do wanna add some of these felt pads. These are from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut a large one into fours. I wanna place one in each corner on the bottom of the piece. This is so that it does not scratch any surface, especially with the screw. It is a little wobbly because the screw is on there. So these little felt pads not only protect the surfaces, but also levels it out, making sure that it's gonna stand nice and tall and not wobble on you. 
so that you have it. It's going to be nice and smooth. Now, here I am removing that screw. I told you we'd get back to it. I'm just going to add one larger screw that goes through. You see that? Now we're going to attach the other side of the stick to it and just right there, just screw it on. And now we're going to paint everything. Now we're going to use Waverly Chalkman in the white, but you can use any color you want, of course, depending on the style, the season, if it's holiday themed, whatever you want. This floral pick is from Walmart, which I think it's gorgeous. I'm just going to start adding some of the florals, including the leaves right around the top portion in that foam that we placed earlier. I'm just going to add a little hot glue and keep adding until the entire piece is covered. All right, so because we are creating a lantern post, we do want to have some sort of lighting. Now you can add a full candle to the jar. That would be pretty actually. But I'm going to add some of these fairy lights that I do get on Amazon. And I do have them in my Amazon store, which linked down below if you want to check it out. I'm just going to place a battery pack right in there because to turn it off, we just have to unscrew the lid and turn it off. But look how adorable this looks. The colors, the style, it's not too tall, not too short, just perfect. What do you think? For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to take one of the larger mason jars from Dollar Tree, remove the lid, remove the sticker, and wipe it really, really well. We're going to take some of these paper. This is just school paper, and we're just going to start tearing it into smaller pieces, some medium size, some smaller ones, and we're going to do two pages, but I ended up using about one and a half. We're also going to use some Mod Podge, and we're just going to start Mod Podging it all around the jar. Now, of course, I'm going to speed this up for you quite a bit because it did take a while. Just put on a music or a TV show <laughs> and just start Mod Podging it, adding it on the jar, and then making sure that you add another layer of Mod Podge on top of the paper. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I love Mod Podging. This is what it's looking like. So it has a school paper theme. We're just going to trim off some of that excess paper from the top. We are going to cover the thread, but at least we'll, we'll trim that off. We're going to layer some ribbon, just like we did earlier on the first craft. This one's going to look a little different. We're just going to start with this burlap ribbon from burlapribbon.com or burlapfabric.com. And we're going to attach it with hot glue. And then again, we're going to layer several ribbons just to make it look nice and layered and textured. And then we're going to follow up with this white one and then a small thin blue one. All right, it's taking shape so nicely. So we're gonna add white ribbon to the top thread. This is just to clean it off and just kind of make it look nice and finished. And it's just a little hot glue in the beginning and the end will do. Now I want this to be kind of like a teacher gift. So like a first day of school teacher gift that you can give your kiddos to give to their teacher. So I am going to take one of these new pencils from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna cut it off, leaving about four inches, give or take. And then I'm going to sharpen it just like that. And it's going to look like a small little tiny pencil. How cute. Now we're going to start adding some embellishments. We're going to add these little floral picks and these little blue florals from Walmart. Gorgeous colors. It complements the design so beautifully. We're going to add them right there. And then we're going to add the pencil right there towards the left side on a tilted motion there. How adorable is this? You can add pencils. You can add pens. Even a floral arrangement. Love, love, love the way this one turned out. But let me know what you think down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take a smaller jar from Dollar Tree and we're going to remove the lid, the sticker, and of course, we want to wipe it really well. For this one, we're going to give it two coats of Waverly Chalk Bin in the white. But again, if you want to do whatever the design, that's fine. Dollar Tree carries a vinyl that you can use with your cutting machine, but you can also use in multiple ways for crafting. I'm going to take the black tone one and we're going to cut up a piece from it because we are creating a cow themed mason jar. 
oh my gosh it's gonna be so cute so we're gonna take strips of this vinyl and we're just gonna cut it into shapes of what will look like the fur of the cow and we're gonna do several pieces but again just cut as many as you need depending on the size of your jar once I had them cut into the amount that I thought I needed, I'm just gonna start removing the back just like a sticker and placing them on what is now a dry jar. It looks so pretty and matte. And I'm gonna start placing them here and there until the entire jar is covered. How adorable is this looking? Uh, all right, so we're gonna take more of that jute string. We're just gonna add it to the top. We're gonna keep it simple, kind of like a farmhouse cottage country look for this one. We're just gonna keep wrapping it around, covering most of that thread on the top and securing it with a little bit of hot glue. You can add ribbon, you can add florals, you can add whatever you want, of course, but I'm just gonna keep it on the simple side. Now on the inside, we're just gonna, again, keep it simple. We're just gonna add some of this grassy picks from Dollar Tree, cut some of the stem off because they are a little tall spread it inside of the jar and then add this little tiny pick from walmart and i think this is adorable there's something about simple crafts that i just absolutely love quick easy and beautiful what do you think of this one let me know i have another video here for you with tons more of dollar tree diy crafts inspiration check it out I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.